Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to be showing you how to design Zazzle wrapping paper without getting a seam down the middle. So let's dive in. I've already got the wrapping paper product up on Zazzle and I have three designs here and they're all different sizes. I have one that's a perfect square, I have one that's tall, and then one that's a horizontal rectangle. Okay, so let's start with the square. First of all, if you want, you can do this tile function for the square and it's going to tile it perfectly for you. And that's really easy. If you don't like the size, you can um, shrink it in half here. And you have to make sure you line it up with these things like perfectly. So that's pretty central. So then it would be smaller and no seam. But notice how you have to line it up like perfectly with these little squares. So I'm going to show you how to do that. That's the tile function if you have a perfect square design. But let's just say that your seamless pattern is not a perfect square and you design in rectangles like I do. Oh, let's go back to fit. And are we, so go back to the horizontal. You can see here, if we were to tile this, we're gonna have a seam right there, it's cut off. So what we would want to do is line it up against one of the sides. And then I like to zoom in and you're gonna grab this middle guy and you're gonna hold down shift so that it locks the aspect ratio. Okay, so then we're gonna grab this and we're gonna shrink it down to the halfway point. And so that we want to line up perfectly. Actually, let's do that again, but let's do it when you can see this one up here because it's hard to see here. So bring it down and then line it up. But you notice how like that little blue line is showing up here, but that blue line at that top square it's not perfectly centered. So we want to bring it over just a touch, like right there. So that line is in the dead center and then we can release. And now if we tile it, it's going to be, it's going to tile perfectly, but that might be a little bit too big for you. You want a smaller scale. So then what we're going to do is bring it back to no tile and you're going to do the exact same thing when it's centered. So make sure you've centered it. And then same thing, we're gonna grab that, um, the little anchor square thingy, and then we're gonna drag it down to exactly halfway. We want this to be like perfect in the middle, right there. And then tile it, and then no seam. So that is for the horizontal square or the vertical square, sorry. And I mean, it's the exact same, exact same um, scenario for the horizontal one, but I'll just walk you through it. So obviously this one, for example, you could, if you have it edge to edge, you can tile it there, but that's massive. That doesn't really look that good. So we want to bring it down right there in the middle and then we can tile it and that looks pretty good but maybe we want it a little bit smaller so we're gonna do no tile and make and then it brings it all the way to the middle for you and then I like to zoom in a little bit more and right in the middle there and tile it as you can see there's no seam so if we go to the product page, I think we can see it a little bit better. And there's no seam there. That's all you need to do to get your designs to fit perfectly on wrapping paper without a seam. If you learned something here today, please give the video a like and be sure to subscribe for more Zazzle tips. Bye!